Hello and welcome to my channel on human design. I'm Richard Beaumont. I've been in human design for 25 years and I'm going to bring you information that you may not have thought of. Uh, in this particular episode, I'm going to be talking about manifesting generators. Now, the first thing to establish is <clears throat> the difference between a manifesting generator and a generator is that the generator has the sacral, they both have the sacral, but the manifesting generator has a motor going to the throat. So there is a amped up side to the energy. It's more of a buzzy energy as opposed to the more hummy energy you know, of the generator. Okay, so we've got a buzz going. Now, not all manifesting generators are the same. Uh, I want you to imagine an example where we have a sacral, let's say it's uh, adrenalized from the root through the 360. So this is someone as a generator side of them wants to be available for bringing something new into the world. Something new, it has to be new and different, new and improved as Ra would say. But let's say the manifesting side of this design is from the solar plexus. Um, let's say it's from the solar plexus from the channel of transitoriness. So the 36, 35, emotional energy in a manifester channel manifesting in speech or in action. And what is this channel? This is a channel of an abstract channel, an abstract um, uh, desire channel, the desire to have new experiences, the desire to progress, the hunger for progress to get somewhere and, and have a life that is more in attune with your dreams. After all, it's abstract, it's imaginary, it is, it is about, you know, I can get there and, and you see someone having a life and you think, that's the life that I could have, if only this, if only that. And the, and the desire channel is there speaking about it, getting animated about it, getting excited about it. And other people listening to them, they get excited about it. And it all seems so very, very possible. But is it? So the fantasy is that something is going to happen, that life is going to change in some wonderful way. It's full of expectations, this stream of energy, this emotional stream, the expectation it's going to be wonderful. And then the mind comes in and says, it's going to be wonderful. If I do this, then it's going to be wonderful. And this is where a mistake is often made in abstract channels where you think it's going to, you think it's logical. You think, if I do that, this is going to happen. So if I tell everybody about this, I'm going to be a great success and my life is going to change and it's going to be incredible. But is it? Because this emotional energy is separated off from the sacral energy. So you can be talking all you like, but if you haven't got the energy to build something with it, if you haven't got the response that tells you that your energy is up for it, you're not going to do the work. You're not going to be bothered to do the work. You're going to end up giving up halfway and your dream falls apart, you know, just, just dissipates until the next excitement comes and the next try to do something without using the power that can consistently do. So what we find is that the people with this kind of um, split definition very often end up leaving frustrating lives and lives that can be full of disappointment. Um, lives where they end up blaming this person or that person because they didn't do what they should have done in order to make your dream come true. Yeah, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. I'm a one three. I'm here to, to remind you what doesn't work through my own experience and in human design through my own experience of watching so many designs over the years. It is important to understand that you need all the time to come to your strategy and authority. When you have a manifesting emotional channel in your chart, you are an emotional authority person, which means you have to wait out your wave. You have to feel in the wave. And especially when it comes to manifesting something, you have to see if the response is there, if the energy is there, the power is there to do what has to be done. And if it is, well, then yes, you can manifest that. But if it isn't, you can't. You're going to give up. 
you're not going to have the ability to keep going and it's all going to fall like a house of cards around your ears uh, and with it the devastation that could happen to other people caught up in that emotional stream full of fantasy and imagination that it's going to be wonderful not a good way to operate not the correct way to operate always come back to the strategy and authority is there a response does the response continue over time do you do you still want to do it and and you still got the energy to do it even when you're down in your emotional way then it will work then it will work following the power watching the emotions rise in expectation getting excited about it but there's energy to follow it up if the energy isn't there to follow it up it isn't going to work the only way to know if it's correct for you is to feel into the emotional wave over time if your energy is staying with it that's the key okay well i hope you found that useful uh if you want to know more about manifesting generators in the uh, in the links below there is uh, a manifesting generator film uh, that Ra Uruhu did uh, it's several hours it's a it's a great deal it's a uh, 29.99 uh, for the whole thing so that's a real bargain please like and share uh, share and uh, this video so that I can keep doing more uh, which I intend to do all right I will see you again soon thank you bye for now